or did you find your second your yeah, last Yeah, I'm no. sorry, buddy. Fine. I'll let yeah, you all load in. Just a reminder, uh no maps, don't pick up maps. Uh stick close to the chopper. Uh squad leader, you have the communication to me, which is the convoy. You have to live for an hour. Once I'm coming close with said convoy, I'll contact you and uh you can attempt to guide us in. But if you give me grid refs, I'm not gonna know grid refs. Um Actually, I think the rule was you are allowed to pick up enemy maps, but uh, grid refs don't exist on those maps. So again, stay close to where the chopper is itself, because otherwise the convoy won't know where to go because they're going to, uh, to the chopper. So. In the four, we haven't actually tested driving on this map, so good luck. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll be doing it, but say lovey, I guess. Uh -huh. All right. And that's going to take out of them. I screenshot at the loading screen. Wow, Iophis, you should have more trust in me. Wait, it's me we're talking about. Never mind, let's start. <laughs> Alrighty, so, simple operation here. Zeus, Zeus, come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. Ah, Jinji, sorry to hear your graphics card died, man. That sucks. Poke Zeus, come on! Do interface stuff. There we go. And then go out of it and back in. And now the operation begins. So it's just a simple one. They're just a group that's crash landed in a chopper. Who's my fourth team member? I'm gonna give them a few minutes to well, sort things out. The bottom. It's not that hard, surely. There we go. And then we'll start uh, having stuff come around. I'm gonna use a mix of African militia and Boko Harambe against them. Yes, I call them Boko Harambe. It's part of the fun. This is high on five zero. Oh, but that's the okay. We. Let's go there. Uh, I command this is Blackhawk. This is high. Send message, Blackhawk. Uh, out crash, crash a helicopter. He, uh, forgot to replace the stick with a steering wheel. Roger, be advised, transponder on the Blackhawk is still intact. I will dispatch a convoy, uh, to the Blackhawk to try to pick you up. Uh, ETA is one hour. Good luck. Out. I can't see over the fucking... Ground team copies. We'll try and hold out. So we're gonna start at light. I'll get some technicals going though, and I'll make sure that the uh, technicals have no fuel so they can't escape. Oh, he's got an AK? Yes. Oh, and VCOM might also. Uh, I'm not sure if they'll let them breach these specific buildings, but. We'll see how things go. I hear the AK, but don't see them on. So I also have limited ammo, which is part of the fun. Let's start uh, spawning small groups now. Of... Let's do African militia. Now oh, we can just have sentries walk in. But this is just, uh, again, just going to be a nice little fun survival thing. And then we'll prep the convoy at the 50 minute mark and send it up. Deep copy. Yeah, it's a programming turn. It sounds very foreign to me because I don't do that much programming, but remember when Whale put it out, it was pretty funny. But yeah, the current player base strat is uh, quote unquote to go in a building they know the AI actually can't breach into and uh, go from there. <laughs> so whatever works, right? I just have to make sure I put stuff out that... ...can be properly used here, but... ...we'll eventually turn this into horde mode. I've done a Soviet Blackhawk down as well. Oh, there goes Bobby.
I mean, he'll just spawn back at the Blackhawks, so it's not too, too bad. But now I'm going to make sure I put a lot of stuff right there. This is high send message. Update. One of our guys forgot to eat breakfast and starved to death. Roger, that is unfortunate. Convoy is still about 56 minutes out, though. So uh, try not to uh, try to go eat breakfast if you can. Over. Finding copies. And then some of them only have handguns as well. But now we're going to slowly start stepping things up. I will eventually walk statics on nearby roofs as well, definitely. Again, when you do a defense op like this, it's just meant to be a fun thing for the T3s. You got to slow burn it, so you don't want to immediately throw, like, the entire book at them. You want to, you know, just slowly add things. So, for example, I'll eventually, like, put a 50 cal back here and I'll walk it up. You know, to simulate that they, uh, you know, came from down here. But it's all about that slow burn. I have no idea why he has a different radio. Uh, I think Arma just decided in TFAR to give him a different one. But thankfully, they all need to stick together. All right, so now they're attempting a push. This is as, again, I'm getting the, the big squads on them. So they're allowed to move around from the chopper, but Their uh, supplies is limited. The SL does have an extra 25 mags, but... Now they're moving to this building. I might even grab a few uh, Middle Eastern militia guys just for some uh, weapon differentiation. Similar to what we did in a paw op a while back. Is this one life? Yes, but if they crash out, I'll let them come back, so... Bobby's spawning back. He just has to go up and follow the gunshots. Interesting looking helmet right there. Ah, uh, big dumbs. I'd have to go and do that, but... Emotes aren't something I focus on, I apologize. So again, now we're in that slower burn. We can start stepping up a few things, like I can get a static to come out and engage them. So uh, let's go ahead and grab uh, a static here. We'll do a Dishka, because they probably don't have anything bigger than Dishkas in all honesty. So, and then to go build it, we just uh, grab it, pick it up. We'll put it on the edge here and fire at him. I don't think I'm going to be too memey with this operation. I'm just going to let this play out as is. This is just a fun hour of stuff to do. Oh, he just got me in the sewer. So, yeah, Matt just got hit right there. That 50 is uh, suppressing him. But now it's just a matter of I will constantly just throw squads of infantry at him. And they just, you know, already picked him off. So I think Bobby was able to make it over here. Just verifying. Yep, all right, he was able to run across. But one of the slow burn issues that'll happen is um, they have limited ammo. So they will eventually have to either scavenge or uh, make sure they're not completely dumping everything they have. So what's nice about them using this type of building is I can order these guys to search it locally. And their AI, especially with VCOM's uh, extra lists of 
building breaching are gonna be able to get in there and uh, do a lot. So now I'm also going to introduce a mechanic. Jeez, Bobby is just... That is an NI arms issue. Interesting. We're gonna start having little hordes come from various directions. Oh, it is absolutely terrifying to have shrapnel launched at you. Gotta remember, real life is uh, not a video game. Video games are meant to be fun. Real life is scary as fuck. Something like a black hat going down on you. <laughs> yeah, that's also pretty scary. So I expect the real issues for this op aren't going to start till um, we've, we've only now just made it to the 10 minute mark. So again, slow start. But that's exactly what we want. And then I can run up another static technical if I want to. Let's do it from across the way over here. Might also find a building where I can throw an SPG-9 up somewhere. But we'll get there when we get there. I also want to use this map for a tank battle to redo 73 Eastings because Kadal, again, had too many um, memory leak issues. So this is far off on the map. I can go and set that up. Yanni, I think, is going to challenge that Dishka gunner. I think that Dishka's actually firing down at uh, Main J instead. So it's all about getting the squads close to the building to then give them the search uh, function. And we're going to let this horde come up. So he was taken out, he got that 50 firing uh, to the right, not sure if it was firing far into here. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a call in uh, another few minutes to let them know that 50 minutes have passed and we're still 45 minutes away. Rifle versus, well he had an MG himself, but. Another thing I'm going to start doing is uh, putting RPGs at them. Hey, Barb. Have I heard of RimWorld? Yes. Uh, one of those games I don't have the biggest interest in playing. Ooh, he waited for me. Nice. So we'll start doing hordes every, I want to say, four minutes. But what's especially limited is their bandages. Uh, so they got to get with uh, people from the helicopter crews and the... Grenadiers have a bunch of extra bandages for them, but when they start running out and having to scavenge, that's when things are going to get very messy. Also, one of the tough things about this scenario is uh, I have to find all these crazy angles to make sure things get deleted, such as bodies and whatnot. Damn, I was going to use that RPG guy. Yeah, I can't spell Morgadishu. That's probably it, because, uh... <laughs> oh, well. All right, let's do two hordes now. Again, um, one more minute, I'll give him the call. 45 minutes. Again, easy start, but we're going to start adding more statics and... This is high, send message ground. 
Be advised, we're experiencing heavy contact around the crash site. Roger, be advised, I'm about to call into you. Uh, you still need to last for about 45 minutes. Uh, convoy is still a ways away. Over. It's gonna go to YouTube. Yeah. Ground team copies. We'll update if anything changes. Roger. Out. Again, um, they can run out of ammo, which they are by the end of this op. I will make sure of it, because they were only given anywhere from 10 to 12 mags. The Grenadiers were stacked with, like, 20 to 30 GLs, but, you know, against a shit ton of infantry from literally the entirety of the town, that's it's not going to last too long. And I'm going to make a long-range static... Uh, with an SPG-9, I just got to find a good angle for one. Because I want to start bombarding the building. So, like, a keyhole right here, for example, would be fairly good. So, let's go ahead and grab one of those. Because, again, all about slowly making it worse and worse for them. And if they hold up in a building for too long, we'll start, you know, getting into mortars, artillery, that stuff. So, chat, how you doing? Because this uh, has a long reload time, and I'm just going to be bombarding the, the building, and if I see uh, any heads, I'll be going for those. I'm thinking about, um, see, like, there. We'll, um... Oh shit, well, I already got spotted. We'll, uh, we'll start doing, um, I'll use the shorts from YouTube to announce ops. And it won't just, you know, it'll be Black Hawk Down, it'll be Zombie Survival, it'll be whatever, you know, I feel like listing. You know, just to kind of get Arma back on the map, because it's such a fun game with all the mods we have. Uh, paw ops are every Thursday. I think I just hit that dude with the RPG. Oh, he wasn't even there. He pulled back. It was on the roof. Let's get some more Boko Haram in there. Because, again, I'm using a mix of them and African militia. For those of you who don't know what Boko Haram is, they're basically, uh, like, uh, an ISIS faction of, um... Like ISIS, but African. Uh, same philosophies with the militant and whatnot. Yeah, African ISIS. Exactly. So I'm using both them and the African militia forces uh, from Project Op 4 to just vary the weaponry a little bit, but not by too, too much. So we'll also do a little bit of minor PvP. It is one life, so I don't like to do PvP too much on this level of operation, but... Uh, just to harass and stretch them thin. I just ran past somebody, apparently. The real difficulty is I already feel a bit of issues with the frames. It's just uh, getting everything deleted. But I can also always, you know, on dishkas that still exist, I can just have guys run up and recrew them. That one, though, they've uh, destroyed. But, you know, I can start putting guys on, like, rooftops and stuff. Just everything to contest with. Because uh, no matter what your AI mod is, some of these windows are difficult to work with. Uh, some of these buildings, excuse me. Uh, 
All right, delete some more chunks of bodies here from places that they've been engaging. It runs the risk of they'll watch the bodies disappear, but at this point, the because this map is very uh, open, it's uh, just a necessary risk you gotta take. Now, I would imagine their ammo use is starting to run low, knowing how TSB normally plays, and they still have 40 minutes left. So now it's a matter of what are they going to be scavenging and what are they going to be making do with. Especially the one marksman they have, his ammo is the most limited of them all. So yeah, they blew up that uh, static. But there's also, I have a thing planned at the, um, like just before the convoy comes, I'm going to kind of uh, trickle the forces back and we're just going to start uh, using artillery here. Did someone already die? No, that's just me back there. All right. No, they're just asking for clarification. Uh, AI will save them for this one. Borgadizu, the map, it's a giant city, but adding all these players makes it really, really laggy. So I want to try to limit uh, the amount of players on this map as much as I can. Ah, literally just before I pulled the trigger. So I'll start adding a few more vehicles in a little bit. hit as much as I can. But you can kind of feel how framey it is. So that's also why I'm holding back just a little bit to help accommodate for that frame loss. Got caught with no ammo. All right, Pumpkin's still up. So just a reminder, uh, TSP T3s and Vets, these are some of the guys that I would consider some of the best players I've ever encountered in Arma, period. So I give them, you know, special missions like these. I'm, I'm impressed that none of them have died yet. Alright, so we're going to start stacking people. So, uh, Morganishu has a small issue with some of the AI pathing, even with, like, VCOM or HAL or whatever you use. Units are going to get stuck, which is unfortunate. But I'm going to start sending groups up in the form of singles like this, break them apart, and then try to add uh, to the playing field here just ways that I can send these guys over because it's on a little bit of elevation, but, nah, they're still not going to follow it. Okay. So instead, what I'll do is break them apart, set them to permanent standing, let's get them all grouped up, and then I'll just run them all individually over. Elevated platforms can be a little messy with AI, so, you know, Zeus can just help give a, give a little addition here. Do you have any ammo crates? Nope, what they had is what they had. Um... I gave the squad leaders some extra rifleman ammo for the squad. I gave the uh, grenadiers and uh, the two uh, chopper crew gunners some extra... Yeah, they're already engaging them. I gave them extra bandages, and then the uh, pilots themselves, I gave some extra blood. But they're gonna... As I said, one of the biggest issues that's gonna be in this mission is they are going to run out of ammo. And how are they gonna scavenge to fix that?
So I've already noticed the um, the two crew chiefs uh, that were in the helicopter that would normally operate the um, UH-60s, M134s, the miniguns on the side. Uh, they already ran out and got some guns, so... They're already trying to be innovative. I think that guy's just the assist. No, he's the medic, that's why. You saw my tape with Zorin? Ah, oh, dang it, he wasn't supposed to share it. Oh well. Shit happens. Recently bought Armor 3 and you have no clue where to start. Uh, I'd start with the campaign. Uh, if you still like it, uh, go to a uh, public invaded annex server like uh, Ahoy World or 770 JSOC or go up to Reddit, find a unit. There's plenty of places that can always use more manpower. You just gotta do a little bit of digging. Like any sandbox game. Gary's mod, same way. Right. So most of the wave's dead. I'm gonna give them, we'll give them like one or two minutes to uh, rally up. I'll uh, actually, I'm gonna call that squad I just spawned back. That's too late now. But give them a breather. We're still, we still have about 35 minutes. Yeah, there's a few of us out there. I know Remy streams a lot of this. Uh, I try to do my part. Digby still does stuff. I know Womble's kind of out of the game now with the ZF guys. Same with Luton. But, yeah, still got people out there. What I like, though, is um, I know Remy's varying his stuff now. He's also doing, like, SCP stuff and horror stuff, which, you know, it used to only be me doing that and then uh, other smaller channels, which I'd find and learn a trick or two from. So I'm, I'm glad we're getting more attention to this game, is what I'm trying to say, because... I will admit, Arma 3 itself is in a very big golden age of Arma modding. And there's a lot to enjoy, especially like War uh, Warhammer 40k, Halo, you name it. It's it's all out there, you know? And we're, it's possible to do 80 and 100 person ops nowadays. You just have to get the right hardware and have the right Zeus's or mission makers. So right now, all I'm doing is prepping all of these squads to send in later, and we're going to do something a little, uh... little more mean to turn things up. Add-on options, server, go down to VCOM. Uh, these guys would be east, which actually I think, um, general skill, this overrides everything. We're gonna bump things up a little bit. So I have VCOM now overriding uh, what you'd normally see me do in global skill. But again, this is to give them a breather, and we'll throw things out. Did I play Arma 2 at all? I'm going to be honest, I got an Arma 3 through the DayZ uh, community back with the Arma 2 mod, but I did enjoy playing some of the Arma scenarios. Got a guy that's run all the way back. But I never found a community to play with. So um, I started under Loot 09 back in 2016. And then he left uh, Ahoy World and VG. I took everything else over after he left. And uh, TSB is just a derivative of all of that. So we gave him a little bit of breather there. Uh, they, I think, are going to regroup now. So they're going to move to the coast now to try to limit the angles of fire. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm not one of those chads that started with Operation Flashpoint. I know, I'm a poser, guys. I apologize. So they're going for the Vic. I'm going to say that the fuel tank was hit and it leaked. I just gotta find the silly thing. There it is. So you gotta full bar it. But now we have that next wave coming in. They are uh, caught out in the street here. <laughs> and let's get a let's get an old ass BTR sixty out of here. Because they do have a few one three fours. 
We'll get that coming out, but it looks like they're now starting to get back on the street and whatnot. So everything that's uh, moving back there, let's go ahead and get all that deleted. Another wave of bodies. Uh, they have, I'm actually about to call in to say they got 30 minutes left. So after this wave, I'm going to do a little bit of a, a mortaring lineup. Surround them again with AI squads, but then not do, uh, not put anything in. I will say the AI are a little horrendous driving on this map because of all the shit in the road. And the AI, even with AI mods, uh, still don't see it. Right on, Big Dumb. I appreciate that. I'll let the AI handle it. They gotta be careful because that 14.5 uh, anti-material rifle cannon will penetrate. You actually hear them yelling about it. Hey, what's, what's the range? Anyone know the range of the BTR? So we got Yanni trying to come out with an RPG here. He's gotta make sure he doesn't backblast himself. That was over. But it's already decrewed because they did something else to it. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and get another static gun off of a rooftop here. So I can get it behind this house to uh, have it come around. Let's actually set up two different static guns uh, back to back. But they've been pulling some really good 360 today, which is great. <laughs> that just proves that they're doing really good 360 right now. I can't even get a static gun out in time. All right, I'm going to get back in that BTR and continue using the gun if it's still up. Still, still viable. And this will help uh, eliminate all the infantry. Because they're all still attacking everything from different angles, so this will help kind of set me up. Ooh, there's the RPG. And we're actually at the 30-minute uh, mark, so let me do a call -in. All elements, all elements on net. Be advised, we are 30 minutes out with that convoy. Continue to hold your ground. Over. Ground team copies. Uh, be advised, we're experiencing light enemy armor contacts. Roger, the convoy has anti-armor capabilities. If we run into that uh, as we push in the town, we will let you know. Over. So, I'm actually gonna like have the convoy stop short and just have to tell them to meet them there. Because again, the AI pathfinding in this town is going to be horrendous. All right, let's stir the pot. Give it about 30 seconds, and then we'll repeat the fire mission. And as I do that, I am going to set up squads all around town to push in after the mortars have quote unquote ceased. Now, no reasonable group of infantry are going to want to mortar... Actually, let me clarify. No reasonable group of uh, honest living town folk are ever going to want to mortar their own buildings. But if there is an exception of, you know, a bunch of Americans that have crash landed and are uh, causing a ruckus, there will be exceptions made. So let's repeat that fire mission have another range and shot a little closer to those buildings. 
Yeah, well, this is immediately forcing them to move. Instead of using the mortar itself, I'm using the module because it gets that nice whistle in. So it helps get that audio going. Grounding to high. This is high. Send message ground. Be advised, we are forced to move south of the helicopter crash due to enemy IDF. Roger, do what you need to to stay alive. We'll uh, do our best to find you once we get here. Over. Yeah, so they're asking each other for spare medical as well right now. Let's finish this off. Uh, the down chopper is a UH-60, yes. But what's also nice about making the move is I can now delete all the bodies that are still here. And then I'm giving it a few seconds between each round. buildings and then I can grab everything that's still here and push to their position we'll just look at all the bodies they've taken out already I said we're gonna go for a swim did I count yeah so that is Anchored down the roadies <laughs> I was assured by the mission team that that wasn't an issue, even though I told them that it was an issue, so... So, this is why you haven't seen Morganizu used in TSB. It's because I know that it has, it's an old map that the AI don't register some of these buildings and will shoot people through walls. Uh, I was told by my mod team that they quote unquote fixed that. So, yeah, I was just lied to. <sighs> Which is why I didn't want to use this map as a concept, but I thought, you know, I might as well trust my mod team. But. So that's something they gotta stick with. It's all these buildings right here that are unique to the uh, map itself. So I'll just, uh, I'll put that up as an issue and give these guys my condolences, but uh, these buildings I know the AI won't uh, shoot through, so. See, some of these buildings are fine and they weren't causing issues, but I believe it's uh, these ones. Because they're apparently they're just cereal boxes. So now they are attempting to run to the coast. And this uh, helps limit the avenues of fire here. But what I can now do is if I have any good boats... Because um, 3CV actually added... Armed boats... I just have to find the right one with a uh, technical, uh, with a dishka on it or something, so. Yeah, so dishka, for example. Oh, wow, they actually put a lot of stuff on there. Nice, all right. enough to crew everything right excellent and I'm gonna keep it well out of their range to uh, help stop things yes there are ZU boats uh, 3CV had an update a little while ago and added some interesting things like that ground team document this is high, send message ground. Be advised, we've moved southeast of the helicopter crash site. We're along the coastal road now. Roger, you are along the coast, uh, east of the crash sites. Over. And they immediately decided to drive into the dock.
I got two pirates with SVDs. <laughs> See, I have two rear dish guys, but I guess the pirates didn't want to crew them. That's okay. I swear I'm going to do like a boat raiding op as Somalian pirates with these new boat models. But again, Arma's all about making what you want out of it. It's a sandbox and, you know, just making sure it's playable for your players. That's all you gotta do. I swear. Why is your AI this trash? Oh, you silly goober. Why would you do that? You just killed the front gunner. Like I said, AI pathfinding, even with AI mods, is a wonderful thing. But yeah, that's uh, 3CV. Alright, what else can I get deleted here? He's gonna, he's gonna kill himself by hitting that beer. Good enough. We just claimed they hit the fuel tank. Easy. This AI pathfinding is uh, a pain in the butt. Alright, we got about 20 minutes left. We gotta start thinking about what I wanna put in this uh, vehicle convoy to come in. The MSR will be viable. I can place it down here. And I can modernize the convoy a little bit based off of things that have happened. This is... Hi, send message ground. What is the ETA and convoy arrival? Convoy is about 20 minutes out. Over. I'll probably modernize the 113s to be Bradleys instead. Again, a little bit of. We're not we're not doing the exact like what was uh, Black Hawk down the 90s. I don't recall. Might have been early 2000s. I don't think I have an MGS though. Uh, that's uh, from Cop. 92. Yep. Okay. Ninety two, ninety three, early, early nineties. So I will admit there was uh there was a James Bond style tunnel uh op I was making. But I didn't have enough time to finish the tunnel. So instead I threw all this together, you know? There's a lot of debris. But let's see. I'll give it about till the 10 minute mark and then I'll start uh, going to them. Now, what buildings are they in? Uh, let's see. If I put it back here, that gives me some walls. Let's. Uh, I don't want to do a ZSU because that would absolutely annihilate them. And let's not do uh, AAF because that'll give it the wrong camo. Yeah, we got another one to come in. I'll have to tell Everick, uh, he's one of the devs for uh, the 3CB mod that the uh, AI just don't seem to want to crew those guns.
Hell, the AI don't want to seem to know how to drive, period. Come on, buddy. Turn left. This thing's a fucking sea cow. Yeah, so it lets you get in the port and aft seats. But too many guns like that would be a little, uh... A little difficult, but I need to... I, I'll tell him he needs to at least get the AI index in on the Vic to, uh... Do that. Um, at least we can now get that boat coming in. But, I mean, geez louise, the amount of bodies they've gone through. How many of them still have, uh, regular rifles, though? That's amazing that they still have, uh... Ammo, especially for the machine guns. Yeah, so some have, uh, started picking up AKs, though, but he might be one of the crewmen guys that... Had that. So, I'm, I'll do a, a field count after this, like, how much they have left. Did the driver just get out of the boat? You silly goober. Okay. We're gonna do a BMP-1 and have a BTR come from the other flank. Uh, that is gonna require me to potentially have to pull from a different faction, which is fine. I'm firing RPGs at it. Takasani insurgents, yeah, that'll work. Just to go up from range where they can hear it coming. And 15 minute warning will be called in a few minutes. Alright, now we're hearing the boat starting to engage. Now, one of the messy parts of this pullout is going to be uh, the fact that some of these buildings AI can shoot through, so we'll have to play it by ear. Welcome to Somalia. Probably a plenty of T-34s. Yeah, it's true. You know what, screw it. We'll, uh, we'll honor that. 4x4 four four armored, man. Get the really heavy stuff out. And let's do one more large push of infantry. And then at the 15 minute mark, we'll start uh, having them move down the MSR to meet the convoy coming in. Which is in about four or five minutes. So again, mix of Boko Haram and African militia. Let's go ahead and get a Dishka out of here. So I'll stack it back here. The 4x4s had Apache cannons. Nah, they're just 1 3 4s. <laughs> you could rescript it though to be uh, an Apache cannon. Again, arm is a sandbox. You can do whatever the fuck you want with it. Alright, so everything that's in the far back we can go ahead and get rid of. And the BTR decided to immediately dismount. Okay. Don't give me ideas. I'm giving you ideas. The game that is Arma 3 is only limited by your own imagination. Have fun. Ghost carrying T-34 turrets? 
Uh, you could use some texture commands to hide everything but the actual T-34 turret and then attach it to a goat. Why not? It's your game. Oh, they disabled the gun. Ah, friggity frack. All right. Let's give him the call a little early, so uh, that'll give him a minute or two to help with the planning. Ground, this is high. Message over. Message. All right, so you said you went south of the UH-60 and you're on the coast right now, right? Correct. Are you on some sort of uh, large two-way street? Over. Affirmative. A firm. Uh, we've got maps of the area. We think you're at the uh, MSR that goes through the uh, town of Durka, Durkistan. Convoy. If you have maps, we are west of the castle and east of the docks. A firm. Again, we're, I'm trying to get your position sorted, but convoy, I believe, is going to be heading up that road from your south. Uh, south, southwest, if not west. Maps uh, pretty hard to read of this region. Uh, if you want to start coming down to meet us, that would be your best bet because there's a lot of debris on the roads. Uh, we're just within the city's uh, outskirts, and we're already seeing a lot of stuff uh, blocking the route. Over. Ground team copies will begin moving west. That's the issue. T uh, Arma 3 does not have any T-54 models. There's T-55s, though, but I would love to see some 54s. One day. All right, so let's uh, let's start setting up uh, stuff here. We'll start with... Uh, We'll keep it to uh, the faction, so we'll actually go down to RHS, uh, USAF, no. Sorry, so many factions, I got a little lost. We do have strikers, actually, so we can... We can just uh, stick with strikers instead. Have a bulldozer in front. And then we can put uh, an IFE Bradley in the middle. We'll do Busk one. Get these guys in a call uh, file formation. Keep it modernized to the theme. And start having these guys run towards them. All part of the breakout. I don't think there's been any KIAs. Uh, I think Bobby came back, because uh, again, he had two tech issues. Guys, right. so now we're really going to focus on trying to get them to burn all their ammo. Well, yeah, uh, we haven't hit my unit limit yet, but definitely running low. going to drive the BMP up. Exactly, Jay. Ground to high. This is high, send message. Is it the UN and a BMP or is it not one of us? Uh, we do not have any BMPs in the AO. Uh, convoy is three strikers and a Bradley. Over. Copy. We'll throw an oddball, throw some Middle Eastern militia at them. Say even they are involved. Just for some variation of, uh, what people are wearing and shit. Spawn anything. <laughs> oh, they're saying I can't spawn. <laughs> they think I'm uh, they think I'm unit cap. Nah, I'm just being nice and letting them maneuver. But they want to challenge that. By all means, let me uh, show them that I'm actually just prepping the next wave. 
I love T Far Beta though, because you can scroll right down and listen to what your players are saying about you in real time, and it's always funny to have a nice little listen. Is that Middle Eastern militia? Run to high. It's his highest on message. Apparently we've done something to piss off the Middle Eastern militia. Hey firm, I think the uh, the city has decided to get everyone in the town to uh, start trying to kill you as uh, what happened in uh, 92 or 93. Over. Strong copies. Everyone hates you. So I would estimate they've killed about 300 or 400 infantry so far. Uh, because the squad is usually 8 to 10. And I've spawned in about 20 to... No, like about 30 to 40 so far. So, you know, including individual units. Ground, this is high. Be advised, uh, convoy has penetrated the perimeter of the city and are attempting to move to you. But again, the roads are pretty badly clogged. Over. Ground team copies. Will they be able to clear the rebel, or are we gonna have to? Uh, I will let you know. The lead striker has a uh, minesweeper for the job, uh, but I will let you know. Copy. We're currently. Stopped moving due to a BMP that we're not able to clear. Over. I will admit I am a little worried about that striker uh, getting caught in that fan, so... In the fan. What am I saying? No, the um, little bitty there. I think I can maneuver it around, but I'll uh, I'll move it up in a minute because we're still a few minutes away. But again, this is letting the player base kind of have that escape moment, and you can tell they're starting to run out of ammo because uh, some riflemen are dropping their guns here and they're still continuing to push past. And yeah, I, I don't want to cause the striker space program. I'm trying to chase them with infantry here as well, but it, this being the coast, it's uh, hard to spawn stuff uh, behind them here because it's still uh, very narrow. Four minutes, and then I'll move the convoy forward. Yeah, so now they're getting to the gunner seat to see if it's still usable. Yeah, engine and gun are screwed, so I don't think they're going to get any uh, use out of it, unfortunately. I am impressed they didn't run out of medical, though. That could have been a major issue in this operation. So uh, how the unit cap works in Arma is uh, it's a static unit cap where every time I put units down, um, it, they're counted to the cap. But uh, even if they're deleted or removed, they uh, don't get removed from the cap unless you use the mod like Arma Zeus Cache, which recounts all that stuff for you. But even then, uh, depending on the types of units you're spawning in, uh, if there's, there's something like fancy with them, for example, uh, 40k Space Marines, uh, because they have a custom skeleton and all this other crazy stuff to make them work, uh, sometimes the uh, mod like Armazus Cache doesn't re-clean it. 
Uh, so I have a script, though, that I'll run if I need to, uh, get my cat back. Oh, I just shot someone clean in the back. Let's get some RPGs going as well. Ooh, I went down. But again, we're getting very malicious here because they're in the open right now getting bogged down. Two minutes. I will start setting up my convoy, though. And the funny thing that's going to happen is I got to then decide. Um, hi. This is hi, send message. We have an ETA on that convoy. We have lots of wounded. They're pushing up the road to you. Time's now over. Yeah, we'll send it a little extra minute early. Yeah, people are starting to run out of bandages, so this was all perfectly timed. They still got to get to the... Uh, get to the convoy itself, though. Uh, the longer I'm, yeah, something like that. I was about to say, did that break the, uh, ban? No, they're, they're still good. So the Bradley was there in case the BMP was still up, so... They're not all down. They still got a good chunk here, but. I'm using African militia's uh, squad since they're sleeker, I can fit them over other things. So I'll push the lead Vic up a little bit because he's the one dictating how fast this convoy goes, but... Hey, look at that. See, they're even carrying somebody with them. So I'm gonna break everyone apart and force them to all come over here. That'll help their movement a little bit, even with uh, VCOM working, so. Help to add a bit of a swarm factor here. And you got some guys running back to make sure everyone is uh, picked up. Hopefully I don't get shite by the building. Get the one still working on shit cast here. <laughs> So they're all loading in the lead Vic. One issue about breaking the AI apart like this, though, is it adds a little bit more to the server load. So out there, have uh, kind of encircled the infantry there. Yes, the uh, the AI will cover them, but. They have stuff right here that can do a lot of flanking as well, so. The movie theme for this part, yeah, right? There's the auto cannon of the Bradley now opening up on a few guys. Ground, this is a uh, high message over. Send message. Uh, we can either index here or you can drive yourselves out uh, from the AI because the AI aren't going to be able to uh, get themselves out of here over. Up for the index. Afer. I'll wait till everyone's mounted. 
So, because the AI are going to get caught trying to get out of here, so. Also, didn't I have a fourth vehicle? Oh, it's over there, under a player, or a unit. Cack, alright. Oh, well, the Bradley just ate shit. <laughs> No one died. That was pretty impressive, to be perfectly honest. I didn't either. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, I didn't want to do the drive out because uh, there was a lot of shit on the road that I have to I had to keep like booping the AI like in front of because uh, the battery and RAM on the striker didn't uh, always knock things down. So overall, uh, op was pretty good. Uh, none of you died, at least uh, unless you died in the uh, striker. But I, I think that was a good. Black Hawk down, escape, get out of there, survive, sort of scenario. So, um, yeah, we'll go down the list. Frost. Um, yeah. Um, it was kind of weird having a T2 leading a, a T3 vet op, but whatever. That's uh, okay, I guess. Um, it's up to you to step up. Um, it was okay. Off Skelly. concept was good, execution was meh. That's right. what I mean to say. That's good. Uh, the initial splitting of the teams uh, wasn't ideal, I didn't think, especially because we got assigned to large buildings and we couldn't really cover every... Well, we could cover the entryways, but it meant that we were high up in the building. More ops after this now. Um, kits were fine. I'm trying to think if there's anything I noticed not wrong. I don't really notice anything wrong, to be honest. All right. Uh, yeah, so the uh, AI firing through the building scene, I knew that was an issue uh, when we were considering adding this mission, uh, this map in the mod set. Uh, I was told by others that that issue was fixed, and now I have evidence to say it wasn't. So thank you, and I'm sorry you had to endure that. Uh, Yanni. Uh, yeah, I had a different radio from everyone else in the uh, start, so we had to switch to my channel. <laughs> uh, but other than that, yeah, the atmosphere felt good um as far as pleading the team i think it the the reasoning behind it was okay but with the buildings being so big we probably should have been in one big group to have a proper 360 uh but yeah i don't have much else the the OG rounds that you gave the AI didn't fit the RPG so, they had. Ah, uh, that's that was the mod. I I didn't make custom kits here. All right. Then next one. Joe. Uh, from my end, like communication was eh, but overall coordination working together was great. So, yeah. Outcast. Um. Yeah, no, I I agree with the whole buildings and split up situation. Like, I think we should probably all should have stayed together. Uh, I think the kits might have been a little bort in some cases. Uh, some some kits looked like they were fine. Other kits looked like they might have uh, had some sort of issue. Um, for example, like I mostly had basic bandages and packing bandages. Um, so. That's what I mean by that. Uh, however, we were make do. We were able to make do. Um, yeah, I'm happy. I don't think anybody had a uh, a pack, so everybody that went down, we were able to get up by pumping blood as well as epinephrine and CPR. So that just proves that you don't have to be a medic to wake someone up. Uh, yep, that's all from me. Chicken. Had fun. No comments. I opus. Um, pretty solid overall. Uh, Matt, just uh, you know, make a decision and go with it. Don't uh, waffle. Don't flip flop. Karn? The op was fun. Got shot plenty through building. Um, medical was fine. Uh, yeah, that's, that's about so. it. Let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Bobby? Um, as said above, and uh, just the thing, uh, Marksman didn't get a radio, so I was unaware to, of any communication over radio. Otherwise, fine. Okay. Head out. 
Oh, 10 out of 10. Uh, had a lot of fun. Uh, bullshit. Invisible wall killed me. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> well, it wasn't that yet. At least. Had a lot of fun. Glad to catch a stream again. Manje? Uh, but everything was fine here. Matt? Uh, it's quite late. So, the idea behind splitting between the two buildings was so that explosives didn't take out a bunch, very big chunk of people, but I understand what you mean. And that uh, we couldn't really fully garrison both buildings. I'll keep that in mind for next time. Uh, other than that, I really like the idea of the Dishkum turrets being set up on the roofs, as well as uh, the constant contact we had throughout it, rather than the... Sometimes the defense ops where it gets, like, boring and there's not much to shoot. I really feel like I shot a lot this up. I think everyone else did too. All right, Pumpkin. Uh, really no complaints besides no A10 go bird. Besides that, had fun. An ambient A10 overhead would have been pretty cool. All right, I'll keep that in mind. All right, otherwise, uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and I will see you guys around. All right, so um, I didn't realize we had over 300 people watching. Uh, that's, that was just the biggest stream I ever had, and I just acted completely casual through that. <laughs> I can't, um, I don't see the number tracker when I, uh, when I stream anymore, because I stream it through OBS. So yeah, shorts, I guess, um, we'll, we'll keep doing that. that. Um, welcome, shall we? Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot. Go operate operationally. Uh, we've got more stuff tomorrow. Um, I mean, yeah, tomorrow we've got a Spanish op and we have a mech op. Uh, so if you want to see Let's stuff, I'll, I guess I'll put another short up for the mech op <laughs> for tomorrow. I'd, damn, that uh, that was interesting. I'll see you guys later. Hey, yay, yay.